Bendy. Secrets of the Machine is the latest installment in the Bendy universe. And of course with that, we get some brand new lore drops and some brand new teases for the future Bendy. But of course it's not just that simple. This game is pretty confusing and if you have no idea what's going on, you might be left wondering what is any of this for? That's what I'm here for. In this video, we're going to be explaining the full story and game of Bendy Secrets of the Machine. So without further ado, let's go hop into The Story Explained. If you don't want to get spoiled for anything in Secrets of the Machine, I advise you to go play it before they take it out from Steam since it's supposed to be like a secret ARG type game. We're going to explain that a little bit later on. But if you already know everything and you don't care about spoilers and you just wanted to explain, can, you can continue watching this video or just watch my video playing the game, you know? It's pretty interesting. Let's go start off with, of course, the story. The story is about a young kid named Riley. Judging from the photo, Riley looks like a young boy and he has two loving parents. Until sadly, one fateful day when he was six years old, his parents both died in a car accident. And this car most likely was a taxi on the way somewhere. Sadly, we have no entire idea if Riley was in the car or was not in the car because Riley somehow gets nightmares of the car. So Riley must have been outside waiting for the parents or maybe Riley was in the car and somehow survived miraculously. Or people just told him about the car and told him that they sadly died in a taxi. Why would you tell your six year old that? I don't know. My theory is that he was in the car and somehow survived in the back. But Riley was a little a bit different. Riley had amazing abilities to do art, so I applied and sent some samples to Joey Juice Studios to try to apply for a job. Until one fateful day, Riley gets a note saying, Greetings, we received your art sample and were very impressed with your abilities. We are excited to welcome you to the team here at Joey Juice Studios. We look forward to greeting you on February 1st of this year. Sincerely, Joey Drew. So Joey Drew the man himself is the one that accepted Riley's art samples and now Riley has a new job at Joey Juice Studios. What could go wrong? Before you say what could go wrong, a lot could go wrong. Riley gets fired or laid off. Attendance, Riley Wells, art department. Notice of termination. Effective today, you are dismissed from any employment at Joey Juice Studios. This is due to complaints received about the grim and disturbing subjects of your work. May your dreams come true somewhere else. Joey Ju Studios Management. So yes, Riley still has some trauma about the whole car accident about losing their parents and been going around the studio and of course, drawing a whole bunch of disturbed and messed up drawings mainly about the incident. With this, Joey Ju Studios sadly crushed her dreams or trust his dreams, and sadly fired or laid off Riley, leaving Riley jobless. But after that, it wasn't until Riley had no else left to turn and went to work at Gent, where Riley picks up this last container, sorry for my bird screaming, and everything goes to black. After this, it looks like Riley might have some regrets. After this, it shows more nightmare fuel of the taxi car just ramming into Riley, and even the beginning of the whole poll, changing from different words like like an illusion and even the words regrets maybe showing that Riley of course regrets working at Gent. Riley had nowhere else to go so Riley was forced to work at Gent. And thanks to this Twitter user says here if Gasky from Nightmare Run resembles Riley's trauma then what about the rest of it? If you don't know Bendy Nightmare Run was a mobile game that you sadly cannot play anymore but it had the name Nightmare Run and we know that Gasky is Riley's nightmare meaning out of all these other nightmares must be from someone else. So who knows that a mobile game can actually be canon to the story of Bendy, showing that of course these are all different nightmares and explaining the name of the game and explaining the entire game and how someone's running from your nightmares, like Riley's trying to do. We even see this whole projector screen showing different words like submit and reject, aka reflecting how Riley got rejected from Joey Two Studios and had to submit to Gent, showing that of course Riley regrets working at Gent and had to submit to them after getting rejected by Joey Juice Studio. Remember, this is just a theory of picking up the different things throughout the game, but it definitely seems that way is how the story's going. But sadly, everything ended from there. Sadly, there is nothing else left to be explained, and that is really it all for the story. But now moving on to the game explained. I think this Twitter user does a great job of explaining what the game really is. Reminder that it was just a teaser that you can interact with. This whole entire game, if you want to think about it, is kind of like an ARG. This is an interactable teaser showing you the feature of Bendy. And pretty much nothing more than that. But some people still might be confused with what the teasers are, so in the rest of the video, I'm going to be explaining them. Of course, it's 414 Day, aka the Bendy 
special day where we always get something special every single day. And this year was definitely the biggest, being a full interactable teaser showing the full feature and pipeline for Bendy. The very first thing we got revealed, there wasn't the very first one, but definitely the biggest of them all, is Bendy 3 being confirmed. Yes, we're getting a full third Bendy game. It is absolutely crazy. We even got a logo. This might not be the full logo, it might just be like the test the one they're showing. But yes, yeah, so you can get it in one of the combinations if you put all of them as nightmares. So yes, it is very interesting to see this, but yeah, they just confirmed Bendy 3 here. Hey, guess what? This is the halfway mark where I usually ask you guys to please go and subscribe. It only takes a few seconds, but if you're already subscribed, liking the video, or if you don't want to subscribe, you can always just comment, continue watching this video, also just like it. Any of the above would really help out the channel. We're trying to hit 50,000 subscribers before May 7th. Why? It's a pretty special day. I'll probably say why next week. But yeah, we're getting closer and closer to it every single day. And sorry for taking more of your time, but please go and enjoy the rest of the video. The next teaser we got here is a poster of Boris the Wolf, and it says Dark Survival on top, but it shows Claw Mark scratching that off with sticker tape, putting new words being Lone Wolf. This shows that the old Bendy, uh, old Bendy game called Boris and the Dark Survival is gonna be getting remastered. We have had this new title be trademarked like a while ago in my old news video called Bendy Lone Wolf, everybody thinking it was either a new game or either a rebranding for Boris and the Dark Survival, and this one poster just definitely proves that this is gonna be a rebranding and not a whole brand new game. Thanks to technical Bendy, we're able to see different type of trademarks, how Boris and the Dark Survival trademark was getting removed and replaced with Bendy Lone Wolf. In all the games, when it comes to Bendy and the Ink Machine, Bendy the Dark Survival, B uh, Bendy the Cage, literally every single one of them removed the Boris and the Dark Survival and replaced it with Bendy Lone Wolf, even Bendy Secrets of the Cage. So this just all shows that the new game is going to be coming out soon. We still do not know when Bendy 3 or Bendy, uh, Lone Wolf or Boris Lone Wolf will ever be coming out. Most likely maybe next year, this year, who knows, but that's another great game coming out. And also earlier last night, the whole area got like knocked off and you couldn't even go inside of it. Everybody's saying that, that was it, done for the ARG. And thanks to my good old buddy ML Spence on Twitter, able to actually see and that behind it, it said wandering is a terrible sin. Of course, another Bendy joke reference for all the people that always just go around and look for secrets in the game. Just love that. And the next teaser we got here now is for another game called Bendy the Silent City. I already did a video on this and every it got like leaked last year and everybody really thought that the game was going to be cancelled. But no, we're still getting it. It's like a shooter, old style Bendy game that doesn't have the yellow color to it and is intended for mature audiences. Just come, This whole thing just kind of confirmed that the Silent City is still coming and has not been cancelled yet, which is of course really good. We sadly don't know when it's going to come out, but it says this is evil. And most likely, maybe in the next two to three years, who knows, because this is not the top priority, maybe even sooner than we thought. It could be like a multiplayer or it could not be multiplayer. Who knows? All I know is that I'm definitely excited for this and definitely subscribe and stay tuned for more news. Also, some more secrets in the game yet, thanks to this Twitter user. If you brighten up the pods menu, you can see all these black lines and, of course, a lot of 666 and 777s. As, of course, the Twitter user said, 666 is the number of bad, you know, the demon, and 777 is the angel's, angel's number and, you know, the good number. And, of course, I have a home set of drawings looking kind of like, I don't know, like a multiversal, a multiversal a stream you know kind of like loki or marvel with the multiverse stuff it kind of looks like that you can think of like spider-man you know it kind of looks like multiverse and since this game is a realm that constantly changes what if this is supposed to show like a whole multiverse happening the bendy verse don't know but they also gave us a new teaser for bendy in the cage of course because this looks like a keeper it has the exact same texture and look for bendy in the cage but it actually has nothing telling us what this actually is for we can all definitely assume that it's a brand new teaser for bendy the cage we just got this poster of ragtime gruffy in Tin Can Boogeyman presented in Silly Vision being another cartoon they actually have in Silly Vision. You can get this poster in the game if you eat a bacon can soup by just right clicking. And of course, it looks pretty interesting showing that he's of course another canon character in the Bendy universe. Sadly not really explaining, maybe he will pop up in the cage, 
to help. Maybe he'll be locked up in the cage. Maybe he'll be in the whole silent city. Who knows? But this character, I hope, does not get forgotten because it looks pretty interesting. And also those random items that gets kept on popping up in the middle every time they updated. One just being a chair. Another just being like a whole ink machine pipe titled, I think, from the cage. We will be seeing that in the cage. And of course, this being a whole trash can spewing out popcorn. Now, everybody has been saying that this is definitely a hint for the Bendy movie because the Melee posted if the Bendy movie had its own popcorn bucket, it, what would it be shaped like a day before this whole game even got released? And everybody mainly posted this, being of course this really cool. And now we see a bucket looking thing shooting out popcorn. So if we do get a bu popcorn bucket, I do hope it's this. And maybe this is a hint that this might actually be the movie's popcorn bucket. So yeah, it's going to be pretty crazy. And also the game originally updated with this. I have definitely no idea what this is. It's like a costume. I do hope it pops up sometime in any of the different Bendy games. This was of course seen first in like Bendy and Ink Machine. Maybe it could hint at a Bendy and Ink Machine remote mastered but I definitely don't think that's gonna be happening anytime soon. Anyways us Bendy fans we're eating good still. Anyways that's gonna be it for this video let me know in the comments below what do you guys you think about the full game and story explained. Let me know in the comments below if you still have any more questions and if I missed anything please let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below what you think about the story or the game and if you actually play it or not. Don't forget to check my full video here playing the game and I'll see you guys next time.